So today I'm just here to talk to you guys really quickly about this super awesome line of products, Curl Keeper. I was sent all of their stylers and I demoed them and this is the result for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a close up right now. So guys, as you can see, they sent me a lot of products. They sent me their detangler, their really cool water bottle. You guys will see more about that in the video. They sent me their styling cream, their original, their gel, their remain straight. And then they also sent me the travel sizes of the three primary products. So that's basically everything minus the detangler and the remain straight. I didn't really need the styling cream or the remain straight, but you guys will see how I utilize everything else in this video they also sent me this super sweet note you guys really really cute so yeah let's move on to achieve this look to achieve these like super flawless coils what i did was i pre poo my hair with my favorite oil aka wild growth hair oil and if you guys want to know more of my favorite products you could check them out right here I pre-poo my hair with well growth hair oil. To aid my pre-pooing, I use the detangler they sent me and I'll put an image right here, you guys, so you can see what it is. While I was pre-pooing, I was finger detangling, you guys, and I sectioned out my hair. If you guys have seen my wash routine, then you know that whenever I do anything to my hair that involves detangling, I do it in sections to avoid struggle. So anyway, I pre-pooed and finger detangled, and then after that, before I got in the shower, I put in my favorite, or one of my favorite conditioners, Aussie Moist. I just worked that into every section and continued to finger detangle. That's how I prepped my hair to get these super popping coils, you guys. After prepping and everything like that, I hopped in the shower and I rinsed out the conditioner. I let the water run through my hair and just like massage my scalp really well since I wasn't planning on using any shampoo. After I got out of the shower, my hair was still in its sections, you know, cause I'm not trying to have it tangle up on me or anything like that. And I started to like experiment with the products. I mean, of course, mind you, I experimented after I got dressed and everything, but for all intents and purposes, we're just gonna say, after I got out of the shower, I started to <laughs> experiment with the products. So you guys, the first product that I tried was the styling cream. I tried the styling cream and I figured maybe I should use that in conjunction with the original because it says to. So I tried that. I didn't use any leave-in because I ran out of leave-in fail and we'll talk about that later. But I ran out of leave-in you guys and so I tried the original over top of the styling cream and it was okay but it didn't really work out so well for my hair. So I decided to dish the styling cream and I just tried the original by itself and then I tried the gel over top of it and that ended up being the perfect combination for my hair. It like made my curls even more defined than they already were. Mind you, as you guys saw in the clip, my hair was super defined because I had finger detangled and shingled while I was conditioning. Bruh. So everything was already like quite defined, but this helps to close my cuticle because the pH is super low. And we'll get more into that later, you guys. So after I did all of that, it was pretty much time for bed. And what I did was I just pineapple my hair and called it a night. When I woke up, I dilly dally for a while, edited, you know, tried to ginger myself for YouTube and for you guys. <laughs> and then after that, I got cute so I could come show you guys my results. And here they are. You guys will see me taking down my pineapple, shaking my hair, and they tell you to apply water to reactivate the curl. That's exactly what I did. I applied water using this spray bottle that they gave me, and it's super cool, because like you pump it and it's a continuous spray. I thought it was pretty awesome, so I'm actually definitely gonna keep using this. This is really great. So let me show you guys. That was super cool, right? I know you guys, it was awesome. But anyway, 
after I did that, I noticed that my hair got a tiny bit, just a little, just the slightest bit frizzier, and I'm not sure if that'll subside as it dries. It probably won't. That's what seemed to happen when the product was drying overnight. Like, I woke up to super duper defined coils, you guys. I was like, oh, it's lit. But yeah, team, so I did that. It made my hair a bit more malleable. It was already quite malleable, but you know, I just wanted to like follow the instructions correctly. After I did that, I just decided to do a little quick style to really like show off my curls, show off the volume of my hair, length and everything. Because if you guys see in these clips, of course there's a lot of shrinkage. And I'm okay with shrinkage. I've embraced shrinkage. It means my hair is healthy. But um, I knew I wanted to show it off a bit so. I do these cute little schoolgirl pigtails and <laughs> my friend actually said I look like one of those cool kids at school so I was like Oh my gosh for real <sighs> Hashtag Instagram patty So this is the result and now let's talk about how I feel about the product So there's one thing I really appreciate about all of these products the pH is super low Hello everybody, so I'm sure most of you know what pH is from biology class, but we're just going to do a quick refresher and we're also going to talk really briefly about how it applies to hair. So basically pH is the alkalinity or the acidity of a substance. The hair, skin, and nails, they have an acid mantle, so they thrive in acidic environments. And when it comes to the hair, products that have a low pH, products that are acidic, help the cuticle to close. If you guys want a more detailed video about how this is super beneficial, let me know. Like it's proper low to really just like make those coils pop, to really just like define your hair. I love that so much, you guys. Okay, my hair's like super picky. My hair's like proper uppity, you guys. Things like low pH, no protein, no coconut oil, and a whole slew of other things make my hair extremely happy. I was really concerned my hair wouldn't like these products, but I was pleasantly surprised. I really love this product and my hair really loves it too. Another thing I really like about the product is that even though it has a fruity smell, it's not overpowering and it's not one that would make me sick. Like you guys, I do not like fruity scented anything. Like I'm just, nah, 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 nah. It was a light fruity aroma, not one of those like ones that's like watermelon bubble gum that makes you want to like pass out. You know, you feel me? But yeah, this product is pretty fantastic. The one thing I wish the company had sent me is a leave-in. Now, I would have just used my own leave-in, but guys, I, like I said, I ran out. <laughs> That's the only thing I feel like my hair is lacking at this point. The oil helps seal in quite a bit of moisture. And I use my wild growth under like everything, girl, because poor guy. If you're watching this year again but everything because it keeps my hair super moisturized but i feel like my hair is really craving a leave-in and whenever i wear my hair curly slash coily slash kinky or whatever i always always use a rich leave-in to make sure that the moisture is nice and in there for instance when i was in nigeria i wore my hair coily a lot because the humidity was not trying to let me be great with my twist outs and my braid outs so basically, I would do a similar process to this, but with different products. So you guys, this method is like super duper easy if you're trying to get your hair super coily. And a product like this is a great aid for ensuring that your coils pop. Primarily because that pH is ultra low. I definitely recommend this product. I actually really love it and my hair is super picky. Well you guys, that's the whole like little spiel on how I got my hair to be this coily and pretty and nice. <laughs> At least I think it's pretty. I hope you guys like it too. But um, yeah team, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Please share this video with all your friends and comment down below like what you guys want to see next. And if you guys want me to start doing makeup tutorials, I need to know it. So do hashtag freckle makeup or hashtag Instagram Betty or hashtag makeup tutorials in the comments. And if we get enough comments like that, I'm gonna start doing makeup tutorials, you guys. I'll do it for you. But yeah, see, and that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much and God bless you guys. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.